everyone, Willow is here and welcome back to The Long Dark. So in the last episode, we had a great start. We spawned here in the dam. Uh, we were able to loot everything, uh, except I noticed uh, during the playthrough when I was editing the video that I forgot to check out one of the catwalks uh, down in the main part of the dam. And so uh, in between episodes, I went ahead and did that. And look what we found. Yep, it's a hatchet. We found a hatchet. Good deal. We're going to be able to get uh, wood now. We're going to be able to... Uh, our, my game is doing something weird. It's like, it says uh, there's nine hours of darkness left, and it's looking like it's the middle of the day. I don't know why it's doing that. but So anyhow, since we're in this uh, inventory mode here, let's go ahead and I wanted to... Uh, Make sure that we had the best clothes on. I know that we weren't wearing our some of our stuff. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm feeling a little under the weather today, so I apologize if I start coughing on you or something. Um, yeah, okay, so for now, that looks good, I think. Yeah, we're a bit hungry, a bit parched. So let's go ahead and take care of that before we head out. You want to eat your lowest condition stuff first. Although I am a little leery about doing that right now just because we are going to be on the move. So I don't want to contract food poisoning before <laughs> before we Run head out on our snow. day. Nothing to drink. You're drinking an orange soda right now. This guy. Maybe he just <sighs> wants some water. Get them all nice and filled up. Uh, yeah, it should be good. So, I think, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, head out now. We've got things to do and time's a-wasting. So, we want to see how cold it is out here. It's minus 8. It's pretty chilly. It gets a lot colder at night, but I do want to come down here and get these crow feathers. Um, let see any others. No others. Okay. And I just want to, I don't want to get the meat or anything. I wanted to see how long it would take to get the hide. 30 minutes. Um, yeah, we'll chance that. I do want to get as many hides as possible so that we can start um, making some clothes. Some animal skin clothes. So, first thing, first I'm going to come down here underneath this bridge. This is one area that um, the rifle may be located. And we do definitely want the rifle. And, yes, yes. Oh, I should, I should get my lantern out so that we can we can all enjoy this beautiful momentous occasion together here is this glorious hunting rifle that that's gonna help us out a lot there that hunting rifle that's going to be our life source, really. When we start running out of food, we need to start taking down some of these wolves. Maybe a, a bear. Those maple saplings, by the way, you can uh, cure them and make them into a bow. 
We'll definitely be doing that. Sometimes there is a body up here that you can loot, but I'm not seeing anything. Well, I'm going to go ahead and extinguish this. I hope that you guys can see all right. I know the game, for some reason, I mean, it looks, it looks perfectly bright on my screen. Sometimes... Um, in videos, it can look a lot darker, so I'm hoping you can still see it. I don't want to waste my lantern fuel if I don't have to. So you can see I'm not running anywhere. I don't want to get too fatigued too quickly because we do have a lot of stuff that we need to do uh, today. But I do see a body over here I'm going to check out. You want to go and hit the derailment because it's usually surrounded by uh, some wolves, pretty feisty wolves. Good matches. Thank you, sir. Some crow feathers. I don't know if I, I don't really see. I don't want to take too much time. And there's another deer carcass down here, but uh, let's see. We're getting pretty cold. It's going down pretty fast, so there will be other opportunities to grab that. And I think, and I'm not sure about this, but um, once you take something off of the off of the animal, that that kind of those those uh, those deer carcasses that spawn, at least. Um, I think once once you take something off of them, a timer might be tripped or something. That, uh, in a couple of days, they may not be there anymore. I'm not sure about that, but I know in fresh kills, you can't just leave them sitting there forever. They won't last for more than a a couple of days, I don't think. Well, yeah, so because he's getting pretty cold, I'm going to turn this lantern back on. It does help with the warmth a bit, although it looks like he's getting pretty close to freezing now. can't feel my hands. Well, that doesn't surprise me that he can't feel his hands because you can't see his hands. He, and he, if you look down, oh, it's very bright, but you can't see his feet either. He, he leaves like these footprints behind him, but there's no feet to go with that, so... That would make total sense that you can't feel your hands if they're not there. So we're coming up on the derailment. And it may seem kind of silly, but, and because we are so close to the camp office and, you know, most sane people would probably just go ahead and go bed down in the camp office for the night. But I really do want to hit the um, train loading area before this night is over because there are a lot of wolves that spawn over there too. So we want to... Oh, come on. 
All this gear is slowing me down. Yeah, it is. And it will continue to do so. We're going to make our base in the camp office. But, um... Wait. I'm so cold, I'm warming up again. Oh. That is what hypothermia does to you. But he's not hypothermic yet, so I don't know why he's saying he's warm. But there's your friend. A down ski jacket. I don't know that that's any better than what we have on right now. I think we have a basic winter coat. I'm not exactly sure. So, yeah, so we're wearing a basic winter coat. The down ski jacket is not going to be, no, it's not as warm. So we're just going to stick with that. Now... We're already down to 96% though, and let's see. But we have seven hours left. You know what? YOLO. I don't I don't usually recommend taking chances with the condition with your condition, but the first night I have said before uh, that I, I will chance getting hypothermia on the first day. I'm trying to keep in close to these rocks over here because they do shield you from the wind. Keep you a little bit warmer. But... Um, Yeah, this first this first day when there aren't any um, wolves around, you really want to do as much as possible. And I really do want to make it back to that train loading area. Sleep there for a bit and then uh, head on to the uh, forestry lookout, which is right down the road from there. Seems like the weather, it doesn't know if, if it wants to pick up or if it wants to, if it's just kind of like what it wants to do. As I imagine pretty soon it might turn a little blustery. hoping we don't contract hypothermia before uh, we get into those the trailers at the train loading area what is it is it contract hypothermia or is it be, to become hypothermic I think it's to become hypothermic although I don't think it's a, something that you contract but I think that's the verbiage maybe that they use in this game. I don't know. Maybe one of you know. And our lantern is out. That's fine. We have more 
lantern fuel, but I really don't know how warm it was keeping us, but I do know it, it does add a little bit of warmth. Um, we're going to be walking into a headwind here, it looks like. It'll slow down our progress a bit more. There's a deer over there. And he's running from us. Come on, you can do it. My husband and my son are out in the woods somewhere like this. Probably not snowy like this. But they are out hunting for deer right now. They went out yesterday, didn't see anything. Well, they, they saw some elk. And an owl. My son saw an owl. I've never seen an owl anywhere other than like at our zoo at the local zoo they have owls there but I've never seen an owl out in the woods anywhere and I grew up I live in the Pacific Northwest I lived here all my life and I've never seen an owl but we have plenty of them around I hear them all the time but I guess my husband said it was very well camouflaged you could only see a couple of eyes <laughs> Oh. That makes sense. All right. Let's get in here and we're going to head to bed first thing. Rest for an hour, hopefully. Warm up a bit. So let's check to see. Yeah, we're getting a little warmer. Um, we'll go ahead and eat some jerky. I don't know about eating that dog food right now just because we do want to keep on the move and food poisoning would be a bad deal right now. And I think that might be something that I would be pretty suspect of. Some twenty seven percent dog food if that was me. <laughs> okay, we need to refuel our lantern. Um, uh, not the twenty seven percent one. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we can find here. Nothing. Nope. I don't even know if I want to pick up any more wood. Just because. Now that we have that hatchet, we really don't need to be gathering this reclaimed stuff, so I may just end up putting it back, but we shall see. <laughs> Wanna make sure and look underneath these beds. Sometimes some good things can be hiding underneath things. Crow feathers, that mean that there is 
another corpse friend in here. These rose hips are good for making a medicinal tea. So you want to gather them up whenever possible. Uh, fire log, that's good. Heavy though. Mm -hmm. Snow, so bright with the lantern on it, lantern light on it. And another corpse friend. Well, I want to know why he's covered in snow. He's inside here. Is he just covered in snow like that from outside, I wonder? It's another down ski jacket. I think we'll go ahead and just leave that here because we have one. We, we have an extra already in our pack. I could use this. So... Jerry can <sighs> two kilos. Uh, we're already very weighed down. I think we're gonna leave that there. Um, yeah, we'll just remember it. Or um, or antiseptic and a storm lantern. What percent is that? 29%. We're going to leave that there. We'll just remember if we need these things later on, we can always come back and get them, but we're pretty heavily laden with good stuff as it is, so. Once we get to, um, we're going to head on down the road to the um, forestry lookout where we'll be able to break some things down. We're going to stay for a little bit, break some things down, harvest some of these clothes to in order to repair. Um, get all of our, our clothes into good repair. best that we can anyhow. I think that's it. All right, let's see. Getting warmer, but we're pretty tired, pretty thirsty. Let's drink, and then I think we'll go ahead and be on our way. Sometimes there's a backpack over here too. By these logs, but not seeing it. So over on my my buddy Accurize his channel, you should go and check it out. He he does uh, uh, he's done the Long Dark series on the Long Dark. He does a lot of them. Um, he's playing in stalker mode now, and I just love watching his episodes because he's so chill. He just <laughs> he makes me think of Bob Ross for some reason. I just keep expecting him to break out with like some happy little trees, happy little clouds. <laughs> I don't think I'd be that chill on stalker mode. I was pretty high strung when I was playing that, but uh so anyhow I I was leaving some comments on his on his episodes and uh 
So he, um, and one of, a video that he had made, he was talking about how, how you can become an executive producer by um, contributing to his Patreon. And, and he put my name there, um, my real name, April Moen, as an example because I left the comments under my name. And uh, <laughs> and so I was joking with him. I said, oh, yeah, that's that's all well and good, you know, executive producer credits, all well and good, but... You know, I want to know, I want to know how I can get you to <laughs> say, you know, April Moen presents Actor Eyes 2 Survival Gaming Channel, an April Moen production starring April Moen. <laughs> and so, one of his videos, he actually did that. And uh, ever since then, he's been playing his character as April Moen, which I thought was pretty funny. So, because he's playing as a woman... And so I thought, well, I'm going to have to uh, return the favor. So this guy here is now Accurize. I'm going to be playing as Accurize in my game now. Although I probably should have played on Stalker. Doing some. <laughs> He's probably going to be like, why are you playing on Voyager? Why are you making it easier for me? So. Too bad. Speaking of Bob Ross, my my son, a couple of years ago, he I think he had a crush on this girl in his class. It was around Valentine's Day, and he said he wanted to get her a, a gift. So he was telling me about you know, she she really likes art. She likes to. She's an artistic little girl. So, um, and I'm an artist also. And, um, I have, you know, my artwork is hanging in a gallery downtown. And I do all right. But <laughs> he said to me, Mom, you're the best artist in the family. But Emily is the best artist in the world. And her art speaks to me like Bob Ross. <laughs> uh, uh, wow. That is quite the compliment. For her art to speak to you like Bob Ross. I always liked Bob Ross. I used to watch his show. Every day when I'd come home, it was on public access. The PBS channel. Happy little trees, happy little clouds. No such thing as accidents. <laughs> you get a glob of paint on your canvas, you just turn it into something. Something happy. I like that philosophy. All my artwork is digital, but if I were a painter, that would be my philosophy. Yep, making the climb. I can hear him breathing heavy. Accurize is breathing heavy. We're almost there, buddy. So nice and peaceful, though. I mean, that snow, the stars in the sky. I don't know if you guys can see all this. When I made the video, um, you know, the my screen has a resolution of uh, 2560 by 1440, but you kind of have to uh, scale it down for 
YouTube, so it was doing like a little, had a strange compression thing going on when I did that. So hopefully this is gonna look all right. I don't know. And we're freezing. There's a little red icicles in the corner, in the bottom left corner. Let you know that this is not a happy thing. But we are almost to the top. Couple more corners to go. So weighed down, the pack is so heavy. It's, it's what's making them go so slow. Usually you don't want to travel quite so encumbered just because you need to be able to um, move around. You need to be able to sprint. He can't do I'm pressing the space bar down to sprint and can't do that because he's too overloaded with good stuff. So we're going to have to make our way back to the base before we, oh, come on. Before we hit any other locations. And here we are. We're at the forestry lookout. I don't see a body. Sometimes there's a body over there. Not seeing one, so. All right, let's just head up. So many stairs. see anything yet but should be a pretty view come morning time looks like I survived I guess another you night did survive another night good job back your eyes okay just going to extinguish this and sleep for an hour going to um well you know what this this episode is running kind of long so um i think what we'll probably do is we'll go ahead and loot this and in, in the next episode so we're going to go ahead and end it now um so anyhow hope you enjoyed it if you did uh like comment and subscribe 
and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.